Welcome back to Living Local. All cultures on earth have basket weaving traditions woven into their histories. Today, the age-old art of basket weaving not only offers a creative outlet for enjoyment, but an end product that's great for gatherings or gift giving. Joining us in studio today, we have Brian Allen. He is with the Figgy Art Museum. We also have Gail Ethier. She is the QC Basketry Guild. Guys, thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having us. Thank you. So, Gail, tell us about the QC Bas Basketry Guild. You to say that slowly just so you can <laughs> enunciate it fully. Uh, when did it get started and what do you guys do? Uh, the guild got started about 35 years ago. I've only been involved for four years. That's how long I've been in the cities. The first thing I do if I move to a new place is look for the local guild mm. because you meet people there if you like to make things. You, uh, we get together on the first, the second Saturday of each month, different locations, and we do a project every month. Fantastic. And Brian, the Figgy Art Museum is hosting a Make a Wine Basket workshop. I love this idea. You can see it right here. Perfect little gift or you can just have it for yourself. <laughs> so what are the details of the event? Yeah, sure. And, and you might notice it fits two wine Oh, bottles. boom. Okay, yeah, I'm right. sold. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so it's this Saturday. It goes from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Mm -hmm. So it's a five-hour workshop. Um, it's at the Figgy Art Museum. It's in our studios. And um, if you want to bring a sack lunch and weave, weave a basket, mm -hmm. you can hold two wine bottles for whatever event that you might be going to. So. Well, it's perfect for a picnic or, again, as a gift. Gail, what will students be learning at this wine basket making workshop? We're learning a basic market basket, the one that we've got here. The handle is all integrated. It's a wonderful workspace. It's mm. a nice, light, airy room. We uh, have taught there once before. And you won't just have one teacher. We've got pretty much the guild teaching. So we get a good student-teacher ratio. Sometimes it's it's one to one, depending on who shows up, and it's it's very relaxing. And you don't need any previous experience. We'll teach you everything. We'll have the tools there. We have the kits, all made and cut up. So it's really very easy and relaxing. And you walk away with something that's really beautiful. Right. And if anyone out there is interested in, in trying this new hobby, this is a great opportunity because, like you said, you have all the supplies, you have the instructor, uh, and you have that step-by-step -step guidance as you go through it. Gail, what do you enjoy the most about the craft of basket weaving? Oh, I have just always enjoyed making things. And when you like to make things, whether you're a knitter or a quilt or whatever, hanging around with other people who do the same thing, it's just nice and relaxing. And if people want to come to this class, if they want to sign up for the guild on that day, we are giving them half off the usual $20 annual membership. So you can join the guild for $10 and you can keep, keep on weaving. Right, there you go. Keep on weaving. Great incentive there. Uh, Brian, one of the many things I love about the Figgy Art Museum, you, you guys aren't just a museum for people to kind of walk through and admire art, but you allow opportunities for our community to create art in a very engaging way. Yeah. The Wine Basket Workshop is just one of many events that you host. What are some other examples? Sure. Um, well, as you said that we like to get people engaged with making mm -hmm. art, we do wine and art sessions every month and people really get a kick out of those. So this one was so popular, our textural finger painting one, that we had to add another one. Um, so next, next month we'll be doing one that's like quilting, but it's more of a fabric collage, mm -hmm. gluing fabric down. And we list all this stuff on our website, so that's really the best place to see it. We also have a newsletter that lists them out. Um, some other things coming up, we have an intro to drawing class. We have um, a calligraphy class, so that one's going to be really special. Mm -hmm. yep. And then um, we're going to be doing some figure drawing too, so if anybody wants to draw from a live model can do that. I signed up for that. You did? Okay, <laughs> yeah. perfect. You're doing all sorts of things, Gail. Brian, so many great opportunities for mm -hmm. people to get plugged in. And the Figgy just offers such a wide variety. So how can people get signed up or uh, go ahead and look at the options that are coming up? Sure. Well, our newsletter, this is the printed thing. We have offer that to our members in the mail. You can get it at the museum. Um, but I think that the website's really the best way because it lists it further out. You can sign up right there. Or it's also, you can contact me. My information's all over the web there. Um, you can call me, email me, and we'll get you registered. Sounds simple enough. Uh, Gail, can you real quick kind of walk us through how you're weaving that together? Well, this is woven with uh, standard reed. Mm -hmm. And it uh, has to be wet to weave with it. Once it's wet, it's flexible. You can move it. And when it's dry, you've got a nice, solid, right. very sturdy basket. It is very sturdy. I mean, you can 
put a couple of bottles of wine yeah. in there, it's not going to go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> the weaving I'm doing here is a, is a chase weaving. So I'm, I'm doing just an over-under, doing one first and then the other. There are many, many techniques of weaving. We've got examples here. So we don't just do market baskets, although they're very popular. People like a nice, useful basket. Mm -hmm. This is a basket I made, the last one I made at an event, the overnight in January, a uh, nice uh, shoulder carrying basket. And mm -hmm. sometimes we do miniatures, and uh, it's just always fun. Such and a if wide you variety. don't like what's going on, people will always bring their own project mm -hmm. and work on it. Fantastic. Well, Gail, Brian, thank you guys so much for being here. Sounds like a really fun workshop. Thank you. All right, you guys, if you would like some more information, you can visit FickyArtMuseum.org. We'll also have those details posted on OurQuadCities.com.